Hello, this is uh, Itsu. Okay, I've got my new coils. These are uh, crossover coils. This is one uh, uh, coil which I wanted to use as a primary. 0 0.18 micro Henry. And I have two other ones here. Which are uh, 0 0.39 uh, milli Henry's both. And they are both wound the same direction. In this case uh, clockwise, seen from this side. Uh, I have put it on a uh, core again. The problem with this core is that uh, I cannot fit the third one, it's too small. I have here another flyback but uh, I don't think uh, it's bigger but uh, I don't think it will fit so there's a problem there. I need to wind a primary now somewhere but uh, I would like to have this room to maneuver between the two partner coils but I uh, have to find out. Another thing I did is uh, made this uh, switch uh, so I can uh, in one shot in one switch I can flip over from uh, this situation which we uh, kind of have now two coils clockwise and you can uh, switch it this way being in adding mode and if you swap one of the coils say this one the leads then you have the same clockwise coils but now they are opposing in bucking mode so by uh, putting a switch in between here uh, you can uh, switch them over. This makes me uh, uh, to have a uh, hole sensor which I have put here in a uh, third hand. I can put this uh, hole sensor in between the two coils where the opposing field should be coming out like uh, like that perpendicular to the uh, the core and I can now with one uh, switch flip from uh, aiding or opposing mode and I have the yellow uh, probe attached to this hole sensor and you can see here uh, the output. I have a uh, single uh, single generator across the 10 ohm resistor between the two coils, and it's at the moment set somewhere to uh, 70 hertz. And I put in a fair amount of uh, 20 volts peak to peak. And like I said, the uh, signal is uh, like mentioned here and uh, shown here. And now will I switch the switch over? So one coil is now uh, flipped over. So we are in adding mode now, and you can see that the uh, the flux in between the coils is gone. At least the sensor does not pick it up anymore. Not sure if I can show it all the time now. Okay, so this way I can uh, find uh, the correct way how the coil should be uh, wound and connected and put it in bucking mode or in partner mode or how do you call it. If I now move the coils together make the cap smaller. I can kind of measure also uh, what influence this has on, on the flux but uh, I don't think there's much. They are now almost squeezed together the two coils but the signal uh, 
it's a little bit down but uh, 25 millivolts peak to peak and when I spread them apart I'm hard to do with one hand but uh, you can see it's now 28 30 so there's a little bit uh, flux uh, to be gained perhaps there is an optimum but uh, there is not much room at the moment perhaps if I had some some rods you can uh, move and find the optimum spacing between the, the coils for the maximum flux but uh, this is where I am at the moment and uh, I did made some primary across one of these these coils but uh, it has a big influence on, on that one coil and not on the other so I had an unbalance between the two partners so that was not a real uh, uh, possibility. I will try to find uh, another way to have a primary coil now set, set up so I can uh, continue testing. Okay, thank you for watching.